Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome back. Welcome back. So we are still working our way through making this journal for the Stash Buster September Junk Journal Challenge. It is our 60th cha challenge here on the Dear Julie Julie channel. And I am so excited. So everyone that finishes this month, finishes on time, posts all of their, their goodies in the group is going to be invited to the 60th VIP. That's our virtual internet party. Well, they will receive a digital from Dear Julie Julie and we will have a lot of fun. Okay, so um, excited about that. Don't forget to put Fridays on your calendar. We are live at 1030. We have our Friday fun day with prizes i give away a cup a digital sometimes sometimes two and some single digital pages and so there is also a freebie involved usually that'll show up on thursday in the usual places and so yeah so today i am going to use my hoarded item i finally went and checked in my um in my bookcase where i have my uh, originals my my personal um, Edith Holden books and so I have this one is an extra and so I'm gonna I'm gonna use it okay um, so we're gonna be doing that we're gonna be making something with the hoarded item okay that means it's something that I have in my stash that I haven't used yet so um, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and get this six pack ready. These are the last items that I need to get ready um, for my before I can um, make the cover and bind the journal. Okay, so a six pack is a Dear Julie Julie item, and you'll see we've got six pictures on this particular one. Um, the top row is facing upright and the bottom row is facing upside down. And that's so that we can go ahead. First, I'm going to go ahead and I've folded those sides down. And that is going to make it so that I can just add some glue here. We'll put, we'll put it on both sides. Okay, we're going to add some glue and I can close those down. And those are going to make the top of the pockets stronger. Okay, so the tops of these pockets are stronger. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fold this over. And I'm gonna find my, find the line. We'll go up a little bit on this side. Yep. I'm gonna go up a little. Cause I, um, I wanna make sure that we don't see any of that white. Okay, trying to even it up. Okay, come over. And so I ended up with this line down here. I'm, I'm fine with that. I think that that will be fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this side and I'm gonna fold it in. Okay. And I'm gonna take this side and I'm gonna fold it in. Hopefully we can fold it right up to the line. Okay, then I'm gonna look at these and decide which one. Okay, if this is in like that, we'll have the bird. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this edge, okay? So make sure these are nice and tight. And I'm gonna cut this edge about a quarter of an inch off of it, maybe a little bit more. Okay, and that way it'll just come in like this, okay? This is where we're gonna bind the journal at. And so this one will swing in and we just need a little bit of glue here down the 
edge. Okay, so this is not one of the requirements, but it is one of the pages that I wanted to put in the journal. So, um, and it needs to be done before I go to bind the journal. Okay, so. And there have been a six pack that have been um, Friday freebies. So you can find the Friday freebie, um, the list of where you can find them is in the description box down below. And so, yeah. So if you've been here before, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming back. If you are brand new, to the Dear Julie Julie challenge, cha challenge channel, just know that we are here every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. We either have a live video or we have a premiere. Either way, we get to have a live chat and it has become, it is wonderful. So um, we started with the live chats when we were home, safer at home, and we've just continued to have them you can come on into the live chat and hang out um ask people you know uh what they're making for dinner if you're trying to figure out what to make for dinner if you have questions about the challenge or other um other things like that you can do that in there in the chat and also if so it's right down below so you hit the live chat button or the or the line right below it and it'll let you in come in and say hello um prayer requests we take prayer requests in there and um it is it is awesome it is an awesome community community and um so yeah okay so that's my six pack this is all i'm gonna do to it right now um because I don't know where it's gonna go in the journal yet. So I will be putting that in my little box over here after, after we're done. Okay, so going for the hoarded item here, and hoarded meaning that it's in my stash and I have not used it. And so here we go, we are gonna go ahead and We're gonna cut these out. Okay, so I'm just cutting the strings and that's gonna make it so I can actually take a page or two or three. Looks like three. I'm gonna try and get this last one out. Okay, so four, maybe. Okay, so there's one. There's two, there's three, there's four. Okay, um, this has swallow. I think I wanna use this page because it has the blue and I don't, I don't need, I don't want the snake. <laughs> of course we can cover it up. So um, we can cover that up. Now I do need to cut these down. They are a little bit big. The pages are big for my, for my journal. And so let's see. So there's this one. Um, one, two, three, four, five and a half. Now we can go ahead and We can flip that over. I think that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip flip these over so these colored areas will be on the other side. So let's go down here, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna pull it in towards me just because um, that's gonna be the easiest. I've lined it up down here, but I do want it to go, whoa, I'm so sorry. It's gonna go in this direction, okay? 
It's gonna go in this direction. Now, this one, same thing, it's gonna go in that direction. So let's just, we can just use the same mark. As long as we're within, for the size that I'm doing, as long as I'm inside of the five and, whoa, that did not go straight. Well, it's, it's straight up here. Hmm. It's an optical illusion, maybe? Because it's straight there and it's straight down there. Okay, so these both have little flappies on them. Now, I, um, how big is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to need about half an inch cut off. So I'm gonna pull out my, my cutter. I'm gonna lay it down like we've got it. I'm gonna cut a quarter inch off the top. quarter inch off the top and then we'll come down to the bottom and we'll do the same thing oh we've got we've got a problem here Houston I'm gonna have to clean out the gutter. You see that? There's paper in the gutter. Okay, so that is going to give me, going to give me that, okay? Now, I need a double corner tuck. So, I'm like, where could I put a double corner tuck on this page? Could go up at the top. I do like that the the words are there, though. Okay, I think we'll do it down here. Okay, so this <laughs> we're also going to use. Um, our hoarded piece um, for this. But first, I am going to find, okay, I have, I have this, okay? So it's our double corner tuck with mystery is what we need here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I wish I had more. Um, well, we'll just cut this. This is going to give me two tuck pieces that I'll be able to use somewhere in the journal. Okay, so there's going to give me that one. Okay, so that's that'll be one pocket. And okay, this will give me my second pocket. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Okay, and I'm going to use this this page, I'm gonna put this on where the green is. But I'm gonna leave a little bit of green. I just, I think that will be really cool. Now, um, needing to remember that um, 
Okay, we'll go ahead and Okay, we'll cut that. I don't think I can well, maybe. Let's see. We've been using these scissors. Let's see if we can yeah. Just for something different. Instead of just having the edge down there, I think I'm going to sew this also. I think this will be a good one to, to sew on. Okay, so. I've had these for probably 30 years. Yeah. 1992 or 1993 when I probably got them. Okay, so, so there's that. Now we have this. Now I want to go ahead and I want to fold this over. Okay. lined up the best that I can and there's there's that okay now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this because I don't need all this bulk inside of it but I might need that for something else right as we move along Okay. Now, down here, so this I think we'll go ahead and finish our, boy I'm glad that didn't like rip rip. Okay, this is, this has got glue. Okay, so we'll go up there. And then over here, I'm going to fold this in. Okay. Finishing this edge off down here, okay? Finishing that edge off, and we'll cut it so that it's not in the way of when we add, put something in the pocket, okay? So, one, two, making it a double, it's a corner tuck, and it's a double tuck, okay? So it's a double corner tuck. Remember, a double tuck is the one where you use the envelope, okay? The envelope one is a double tuck. This is a double corner tuck. And we'll go ahead and bring that up. Like that, like that. And look at this card I have from some trim. I just think it's perfect. So it's gonna come in here and you'll have this one here also, okay? So there's both of those. Now, I need to add something that is hoarded and this is my hoarded item. And so what can I use to go down, to go down here? See, I, um, <laughs> I had planned to use this piece right here. <laughs> Oops. See, I think that'll make a great tag. Ooh, what if we put the bird? Okay. 
got another one. This one that has the snakes. This one has the swallows. Oh, those are sand martins. <laughs> strawberry. I think I want to save the wild strawberry for my you know what? I'm just going to rip this edge. Okay, I'm holding with my right and ripping with my left to get that get that look okay there's that and if I So I'm going to add this on here. Okay, because it needs to have the hoarded item on here. So I'm going to go ahead and add this um, here. Okay, it's going to go to the onto the edge. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Now it needs to have a mystery. This is gonna go back right up on that, okay? So it's like going to continue this up the page, okay? So I have this, this was from the Friday freebie, and I am going to add this across here and here, okay? So we'll put this down across the bottom. I have already added a backing to this, and the backing that I added, I did it upside down. Okay, so let's see, it needs to go down about that far. Okay, again, it's gonna continue that. Okay. So that is our double tuck. And so now we have another little spot on the front here, but it's pretty obvious, right? That this little spot on the front. Okay. And we have tuck space here I like this little pocket I think that's going to be kind of cool okay so we have this we have this we have this and you can go up inside of here so if you had something small like a bookmark it could go up in here okay 
like this, okay? And then come, it could come out like that. So to make it a mystery, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the tuck part of this off right here. And it's going to be a little, it'll be a pocket. Okay. Whoops. Okay. So this is our double corner tuck pocket. What did I call it on the on the goodie? Okay. Double corner tuck with mis mystery. Double corner tuck with mystery. Double corner tuck. Here's our mystery right here. We have this little spot that we can put something in there. Okay. We have done a lot of a lot of mystery things on the corners. A lot of times what we'll do is a paper. Let's see if we have. That's a, a square and then we can fold it. Okay, like this. And a lot of times, this is what we'll do as our mystery. You've got a place to write, okay? So, wanting to change that up and do something different. And we have, we've gone ahead and done that, okay? So, I've used a hoarded item. And now we need to do a little embellishing here. And I do want to bring in... How about we bring in these birds? Um, let's see. Somewhere I have a one of these that is that is broken because I don't want to use. But that's the perfect size, so we'll use it. Okay, so I'm gonna rip around the birds. You have, if you have this digital, this is the blue, blue, and birds too. It is the digital that the, those that finished the July challenge, they received this as their gift at the VIP. And it has six, over 60 pages. Okay, so we can go ahead and add that. And maybe some of the, the music that we've been adding, you know, because they are birds. I think we'll go with just the music part, not the trouble clef. Okay. So there's that, and there's that, and then, you know, we're getting down, we're using, using up this the white here. We're doing good on that. Let's go ahead and okay so this is the drywall adhesive self-adhesive tape joint tape self-adhesive joint tape or drywall tape. I'm gonna put that on the scissors. We'll add that in just a minute. I'm just gonna use my glue stick. It's a permanent glue stick from Mono Tombow, or it's the Tombow. Mono Tombow permanent glue stick, okay? Again, this is our 60th challenge. So we have quite a variety of things that we are doing to make our challenge, okay? 
So, oh, and you know what I forgot? I forgot to distress all of this. This looks good. I mean, that that is naturally distressed. So let's go ahead and we'll just do what we can here. I'm really bad because I'm not used to distressing. I don't, but I'm distressing this journal. Distress the last couple. Okay. Okay. So where's that white piece? We'll put it on the edge right here. Okay. So our bird digital, this is wrapping paper and that is the tape. And we have added our double corner tuck. So there's one pocket, there's two pocket. Our um, mystery or surprise is we've got a pocket up here that we're gonna be able to put a long bookmark in. Okay, and then we will be able to add a couple items in this little pocket. Okay, so that'll be cool. And yeah, so we used, to make our mystery, we used a piece of the hoarded and we put it on a hoarded page and I showed you how I pulled that out. So that is going to go into um, into the journal somewhere. We can put that on there. We also did our, got our six pack ready. I have another one that I may um, use also. Then we have this fun fun tag. I just think this is going to make a great tag. So we'll use that for one of the the things that we have to make for ephemera. I'm gonna put it in over here. And yeah, so we used our hoarded item. We have another page. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's see, I'm gonna cut this one, okay? I'm just going to put this on here and cut it. That way we'll have two of the side, we call, I call them side-by-side -side pages. Now remember, I can cover those snakes. They don't have to stay as they are. three, four, five, depending on where this goes, it might just get be able to stay just like it is as a ripped page. I kind of like ripped pages. I think they're, they're kind of cool. Um, so let's see. I want that to be intact if at all possible. So let's go ahead and figure out So that will give me that and I'll be able to, to cover this with something and we can cover this and then we have this here. Okay, Or it could go over and be a, a border tuck, but I, I want this. So I want this to be able to open and you be able to read this. Okay. And this just might, it just might work. We'll have to see, you know, we've got all these pages. It will need to be an outside page. Okay, so 
there you can see where it normally will land. We'll have to see how it does with, you know, I, it's not going to, I'm going to go ahead and Okay, so I ha I'll have that that I can use. But this can be an outside. Needs to be a little, oh, this one has the white cut off of it. So, yeah, so there you go. Okay, so we have two Edith Holden pages in the journal. I think that'll be be awesome and okay so our double corner tuck is finished this is its mystery it's going to have this fun little guy up here and then we have our six pack and it is ready and we have another page that um that is ready and of course we'll be able to, to decorate, add on to that. Okay, just to give you a little bit of an idea. Okay, so there you go. Double corner tuck, double corner tuck. And it's got a little flip here, so we'll probably, we could put a flip flop here. Um, we could pull this over. make it a flap on that side but you can still open it and read it if you wanted to okay that's what we have for today we use our hoarded item um, and of course like I said remember I was going to use this for a tag um, but I'll, I'll find something else <laughs> so there we go on to the next thing the next video will be our next thing and i think we're just about ready to make the cover and put the put the journal together it depends on how i feel to be quite honest sometimes i go along because i just don't feel like making the cover yet i do have my fabric ready i do have my items ready and it is one of the required elements. So, yeah. I forgot to ink the... It's going to be much easier if I ink this before it goes in the journal, right? So, here we go. So, are you guys ready for the cover? Is that what I should try and get myself to do next I don't know are you enjoying this uh, way of videos and I did get the I can't believe I forgot to put the um, the posts in, in the group. I thought I had done them, but I didn't. So um, they're in there now. Okay, so if you've already made your items, you can go ahead and post them. Um, I know a lot of people wait and post at the very end. Sometimes it might be easier to post as you go along, especially because if you've done it before and you've been last minute, you know that it can be crazy trying to post at the end. The most important thing is that when you are finished, that you post your finished journal and post it on time. And then, especially like if there's a hurricane. Or something like that um, you want to make sure that you're you're all set up 
Okay, so we went ahead and we have the six pack is ready. And there we go. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have an amazing day. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.